goblins. Never hear about them except on Halloween, and it's always negative shit, too, you know? And zombies. Where the fuck are all the zombies? That's the trouble with zombies. They're unreliable. I say if you're going to buy the angel shit, you might as well go for the zombie package as well. Hello, everyone. This is Joey, and this is the Green Arrow Podcast. Is that better, Anthony? I like it. Ew. Welcome, 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 everyone. We are back for another week of Green Arrow Podcast, and we have Teresa here with us again. Say hello, Teresa. Hello, Teresa. Okay, cool. And Anthony's back. Unfortunately. Uh, you know, we're training t- Teresa to replace Anthony. No, we are not. Yes, I'm better are, than Anthony. he's never here. That's not true. That's very true. That's very true. I'm a witness. He's never anyway, here. Anyway, um, so this is our first episode of October, guys. I know. I'm stupid excited for this. So what... <laughs> If you guys could see Teresa's it's face September. right now. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. If you, it, 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 we love October and Halloween in this house. Spoopy time. It's spoopy time. As you heard in our last episode, Teresa and I went over the greatest Hall- uh, Halloween movies of all time. But what we want to do each week for the next four weeks. I don't remember that. I know. <laughs> For the next four weeks, we're going to take uh, one of the greatest of all time of scare movies, horror movies, whatever you want. Like this week, we're covering zombies. Just like you heard in the beginning of our show, the immortal George Carlin going, zombies, where the fuck are all the zombies? They're here. Zombies are here around this episode of Green Arrow Podcast. You literally did an introduction. I did. Ten minutes into the show. Yeah, because you don't shut up and just get to the point. We're talking about zombies, man. Man, shut the fuck up. I You're love so zombies. Corny. Hold on a second. Let me just say this. I love zombies. I've been a big fan of zombies, uh, Not Living Dead, all the George Romero stuff. I love playing Call of Duty zombies. I love Beetlejuice. Like zombies are the shit. They're my favorite. One of my Beetlejuice favorite. Is not a zombie. No, he's a poltergeist. But you know the idea of like dead. No. He's anyway. a ghost with the most. No, it's a ghost with the most, babe. My point is, I love fucking zombies. And with that being said, too much of a good thing when it comes to zombies, because I've grown to fucking hate The Walking Dead. But whoa, 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 we'll whoa, get to there. Whoa, 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 no, we'll start there. Why do you hate The Walking Dead? The Walking Dead has grown to a place for me where I completely... I lost interest after the war, and I understand why. Uh, because I think at the when the war ended, Teresa doesn't even know what the fuck the war is. Which one? One or two? What? World War Z. That's another zombie uh, thing. Brad Pitt. What was war? In the movie. The oh war wait, with Negan. Negan? Yes. I just. It gets too okay. much. Teresa, sit in the corner <laughs> and just smile. Oh, the last thing I remember of The Walking Dead is. Never mind. The CDC exploding. <laughs> That's no. at the end of season one. Fuck you, asshole. No. The last thing I remembered on The Walking Dead was when um, Negan, like, kablam. Um, oh, killed the guy with the bat. Killed uh, uh, the Glenn Asian. And Abraham? Yeah. The Asian and the redhead. So that was the beginning of. I don't mean to offend anybody. That was the beginning of season eight, right? <laughs> no, that, well, yeah. That was yeah. the beginning of. No. No, that was the beginning of season seven. All right, so it ended six, beginning of seven. Yes. Well, I think after the Negan stuff, the war with Negan, that's when I kind of lost interest in it because... Well, you could say that about any show that goes a span of 10, 15 seasons. No, no. I concur. There's a lot of people who completely lost interest in Supernatural, like Teresa being one of them. Yes. Sure. But, I mean, to me, that sh- it felt like that was the proper ending for the show is, you know, Rick and the crew beat 
Negan that he's defeated, and now you've gone through seven seasons or eight seasons at this point. You've fought the governor, you've fought Walkers, you've fought uh, you know the Alexandra community. Well, that would have been at the end of season seven when they beat Negan. Right. My point is though, like it after seven years, and then this oh, was the eight. whatever it was. Eight. At, after seven or eight years, this is the big climactic battle. It was a lot of shit happening. A lot of good guys died. A lot of surprises and twists and shit. It felt like this was the big ending, and it should have just ended. It's it's like, it's the same problem I'm going to have with, with the next Marvel's Avengers movie. It's going to take me a minute to actually give a fuck. So my, my how question, do you top what we just saw? So my question is, what... So you wanted them to end after they beat Negan. Correct. But there's still more story to tell. Well, there's more story to tell no matter what. I mean, I... T this but is I have a question. The, the... Would you like, like... Let's say what well, the end of season eight was what? Three, four years ago? I think. Something like that. 20, uh, 2015, I think it might have been. That's five years ago, yeah. Um, Yeah, so... No, it was the end of 2016. So, would you have liked if they, like, started another series, like starting like this year be like oh this is the continuation of the story yeah like they're planning on doing like they're going to end after season 10 11 or 11 and they're going to begin a new show that uh, you know it's going to take place with these certain characters going to be off doing their own thing well, it's just going to be carol and daryl right it's like it's it's like it's a continuation but it's a different show it's a sequel show i think that would have been a good idea because they do the time jump after the after the negan war mm -hmm. so i'm like if you're gonna do a time jump anyway that story that we're losing just end the series and then say hey we're announcing a new series it's taking place five or six years from now and that you can give people time to get acclimated to the end of one series and excitement for the beginning of a new series and that would have been like okay well now everyone's older things are moving and different now i want to see what's happening let me check this out but they didn't do that they were just like okay this season's over. We're doing a time jump into the next season where it's basically a reset and all new things are going to happen anyway. Like, The Whispers is a great storyline, and, and Kirkman did it great in the comics, but I would need a break after... The Whispers get the fuck out of me. I don't know yeah, they're terrifying. About. It's a great storyline, but I needed a break from The Walking Dead because at that point, it felt like it was just overloaded. Like, the series ran its course, and I didn't care about having to reset everything to get to the whispers i'd rather have just start, rather start a new show with the whispers and just boom just cut the middle man out so yeah. I, don't know. I got tired of the walking dead i didn't i completely ran through i know Teresa, you haven't watched any of it right no Thank you. Thank you for your input. <laughs> no, I haven't watched I haven't watched anything. It I fell out of it after Negan was like introduced. I think the last thing I remember watching off of The Walking Dead Negan was like held captive or something. Yeah, that would be after the war. Oh wait. No, I'm sorry. I stopped watching after Rick died. That was way after the war. Yeah, so that's where I stopped. And then after that, I was like, you know what? But you don't even remember what happened. Never in mind. The... No. So you don't remember what happened at the beginning of Negan introduced, being introduced, and then Rick dying. Because there's a lot of story that happens. No. Yeah, see, it's... it's it's Like, I don't know what Hilltop is. It's a community. Well, Hilltop was before Negan. Yeah, I don't remember that. Yeah. Like, I it, mean, I think it's just something I would have to... You know, like actually, like read over and be like, "Oh, so, so right." So my question for you is: If you sat down and oh, I almost hit the button there. If you would have sat down uh, after season eleven happens, knowing that the series is done, would you sit down and go from episode one to episode end? No, not at all. Why? Because I've seen seasons one through six a thousand times. Let's Not continue. only did I watch it with you the first time, I watched it again and again and again myself. Then mom and dad got involved. Mom and dad watched it again and again and again. So it's like I've seen it repetitively. It's one of those things I just can't watch anymore. Of like I know everything that's gonna happen. There's no surprises. There's no um, sustenance to it anymore. 
<laughs> it's 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 hard with TV shows, especially something like The Walking Dead. You know, I'm sure if we watch it over again, you could find things you missed the first time. That happens with any TV oh, show yeah, during a rewatch. All the time. But, like, I don't know. Like, to me, the drama is interesting, but after the war with Negan, I was like, okay, let's put this to bed and give me something else. And I tried it. I tried it with Fear the Walking Dead, and that didn't catch me. That show is fucking amazing. I hear it's great, but it didn't catch me. Fear the Walking Dead, I'm telling you, the first season, push through it. I know. Once you get to the second season, and once you get to, to Morgan being introduced into there, it gets hell. I I am so excited for uh, next week. The the it comes back. I am so excited. All right, calm down for it to come back because I got so into the other story, the outworld of it. Yeah, that was always something I was hoping they would do with The Walking Dead. Um, mind you, I started watching it before I read the comics. So I think it was after season one that I picked up the first issue and I just ran through them all. And um, yeah, I wanted that bigger world type of thing, but I also understood I wasn't getting it from this show because of the nature of the show and the way the story was being told. But with that said... I don't know. I tried to fear the Walking Dead. That wasn't getting me. And you know, I've seen I'm a lot. Not, of, I'm not so keen on the new show coming out, The World Beyond. I have no idea. I'm no, I am so divorced right now. The, from, the, from the only thing that is attaching now all three shows, and then going to attach the movies, is the helicopter with the three rings on it. I have um, no idea what you're talking about. Okay, so, you, uh, well, obviously, did you see the episode that Rick died? Or died? Yeah, yeah, he got carried off in a helicopter. That helicopter yeah. and the symbol on it, that type of helicopter is all, in all three shows. Do you think it's like the Olympic Committee? No, you asshole. Those are five rings. <laughs> and they're all different colors. Are these different colored rings? No, they're all white. No, those are like white. Those are like red, yellow, blue, green. Black. And black. So no, it's not the Olympics. You're an idiot. So you have Fucking this helicopter idiot. with three cock rings on it that scooped up Rick to parts unknown. Got only, and that's the only thing that's connecting these shows. And uh, yeah, he's a sex toy tester. I'm maybe calling now. maybe he's gonna like so pop out of nowhere. No, let's have. Apparently, there's rumors Fuck that all at, the, the, zombies at the end of season, he's gonna be 10, like the ladybug from which Big debuts Mouth. in two weeks. You guys are not listening to me. Which <laughs> debuts in two weeks? Continue. Uh, well, not two weeks, a week. Um. That episode, because of COVID, was pushed back. But apparently, there is a masked uh, figure at the end of the Wait, episode. Sh- what? We're, good. We're fine. I thought I heard arguing. Sorry. But, continue. Um, apparently, they're saying that's going to be Rick, and he's coming back. But I don't think so. But I do know that uh, Michonne left because she's going to join Rick in the movies, mm-hmm. and apparently. So is Negan's going to join him in the movies also? Well, Jeffrey D. Morgan is... He's the reason why I wanted to watch it anyway. And I, that's not the guy I wanted. I wanted John Hamm. I figured John Hamm would have been a great Negan. Not a fan. I love John Hamm. How I think, are you not a fan of John Hamm? He's tall, dark, handsome, has a dry I sense I don't think humor. he's handsome. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I, I, that's like when I look at Negan in the comics, I could see John Hamm doing it. That's not how I wanted that to come out. I didn't mean for it to be like, just like, I meant to continue. I just stopped talking. <laughs> I'm sorry. But, uh, My brain went dead for what <laughs> Jeffrey Dean Morgan's done with the characters beyond anything that I could have hoped for. He's amazing as Negan. Yeah. Stop moving away from the mic because you're going in and out. You're fluctuating. Copy that. But yeah, that is I, I as far as The Walking Dead, I, I honestly what? Can we talk about Zombie Land? Yes. I yes, love Zombie Land. Let's finish The Walking Dead. Hold on. So, uh, as far as The Walking Dead, I I think season 11 is going to be action packed and destructive, and I want to see how they're going to separate the characters or what's actually going to happen to them. Hmm. Because that's what any ending season like with Supernatural, I can't wait to see the last 6 episodes that uh, they just finished filming like a week ago. Yeah. Yeah. And also, my the, the Walking Dead TV show is going to end completely different than the comics. Yeah. Because you know, in the comics, Rick is dead at the very end, and Carl lives. And now we know Carl's dead. Carl. 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 <laughs> and and Rick is 
alive still. Who knows where he is? But yeah, yeah, that's my take on The Walking. I love The Walking Dead for what it was. It's enjoyable, but I just and fell what out it of is. it. Is whatever. It, to me, I fell out of it, and I don't know if I'll be able to find my way back into it. Uh, but moving on with our zombie talks. Uh, so okay, Teresa brought it. We'll, we'll go into the. We did the TV show. We'll go into the movie aspect now. Teresa brought up Zombie Land. Zombie Land. Now Zombie Land is the funnier. Part of I zombies. fucking love it's Zombieland. Fantastic. I love those fucking movies. Love Zombieland. What is your favorite part of Zombieland, Teresa? Zombieland 1, 2, what's your favorite part? Well, it's Zombieland and then Zombieland Double Tap. So, okay. <coughs> um, I, I, I think Zombieland 2... Zombieland, the first Zombieland is, like, amazing. It's just, like, <coughs> fucking amazing. My favorite part about the entire thing is Woody Harrelson. Fuck I yeah. love Woody Harrelson. That man is, like... Fine. Anyway, um, <laughs> he's, a he's so cute. Anyway, but the second one, I'm, second not one. I'm, I'm not a piece I'm of not. shit. I will come through this booth and destroy you. Yeah, I'm like not, why the fuck would you? I love Woody Harrelson. No, but like, you know say he's attractive. He's a bumpkin. You know who his best friend is? Leonardo DiCaprio. Matthew fucking McConaughey. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah they're the same person. Just like one's like pretty. One's from Texas and the other one's from Tennessee. Ooh. But anyway, it's like if Matthew McConaughey did meth. <laughs> I think I personally think Woody Harrelson is attractive. I always have, and when he was in like Money Train, oh. But John Hamm is ugly. What the fuck? John Hamm is not attractive to me. He's just not my cup of tea. Mm. But I, like I think tea. Woody. I'm drinking coffee, bitch. I think Woody Harrelson is very attractive. But he's my favorite part of both of those movies. But I think the second one would be my favorite because I love Madison. Oh, I hated that. I bit. love Madison. My favorite part of uh, Zombieland Two is when they fucking ganked uh, Luke Wilson. Love them. <laughs> that was fantastic. That was fantastic. I loved when they killed Luke Wilson because I, I fucking hate Luke Wilson. I still. My favorite part is when Bill Murray's dying, and they asked him if they had dinner, if he had any regrets, and he says Garfield. <laughs> That's my favorite. I love that that little moment. Oh, that was in one, yeah. Yeah, that was in the first one. Zombieland is so funny because it breaks all the rules of what your typical zombie horror movie is while still very much listening to the rules of what a zombie movie is. It's, well, it's I fucking weird. hate... I, I hate Jesse Eisenberg. Why? <sighs> I, don't I like, like Jesse, Jesse Eisenberg. Eisenberg. I he's don't not love hate relationship with him. Like in this movie, I think he's a really good actor. I just hate him. In this, I movie, don't like Abigail works. Breslin or whatever that bitch's name is. You don't Ew. Like Abigail Breslin. She looks like she's supposed to be fat. <laughs> <laughs> like she looks like someone who was meant to be fat. Like she looks like a Claire. Oh my god! It's very specific. She looks I know. like she shops at Claire's. I mean, she probably does, but she just—I just—I just don't like her. I've never liked her. Um, You're fucking mean. She looks thing. like she's supposed to be like I have, I have a, obese. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shit on Emma Stone real quick. Oh, you don't you dare! Shut the fuck up. I love her. I love Emma Stone too. I'm not gonna shit on her like she's a horrible actress because she's not. She's got an Oscar to prove it. But here's what I'm gonna shit on her. I hate Emma Stone's mouth. I don't. Oh, dear God. And I'll tell you why uh, I hate Because it. it looks like your mouth? No, I'll tell you why I don't like Emma Stone's mouth. Because she has a special needs mouth. Well, because she used to have a lisp she and used she, to fought have, a, uh, she fought back. She that. used to have a lisp, and now when she talks, I can see how she is formed. Like, she takes effort to not speak with a lisp and forms her words she in a like this. Yeah, she talks a lot differently now. It's not natural looking, is what I'm saying. I'd have to like pay attention to her mouth. If you, if you ever watch <laughs> go to YouTube. And he pays attention to her all the mouth. Hold on, hold on. You actually went to YouTube. No, no. And no, no, typed no. in Emma Stone's mouth. No, no, no. <laughs> Although I will be later tonight. That's a great idea. No, no, no. She no, used to be on... Go Pornhub and search Emma Stone's mouth. It's probably there. Uh, no, she used to be on this show called... Lucky. fake. She used to be on the show called Lucky Louie, which was Louis C.K.'s first show before the one on FX. Oh, he touched her, didn't he? No, 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 no. But he... Probably. Um, he played. She played on Lucky Lou, which was an HBO show, and she, it was like her first role or something. And she was like nineteen, and she played Louie's daughter. And oh. in the show, 
or she played someone's daughter. And in the show, she has that very thick lisp. And I was like, who the fuck is this chick? Well, I mean, she had a goofy a, mouth. She it's had like a lisp her in, tongue is like hold on, wider than hold her on, teeth. Hold on, hold on. She had a lisp in a lot of movies. Like she had a lisp in. Easy um, If you go back to that one movie when Jonah Hill was really fat. Uh, uh, fuck, what's that one movie? Accepted? Not accepted. No, she wasn't she was an accepted. She was not an accepted. No, it was the one movie she played the the popular girl. He the Easy A. No. No. It, oh, fuck. Uh, uh, McLovin. Oh, super bad. Yeah, super bad. Never she seen it. Been I hate bad. that movie. Why? Just <laughs> not my cup of tea, Why? bro. What's her name? <sighs> Emma Stone. Emma Stone. Right. Uh, so, but uh, anyway, Zombieland. I the reason I love Zombieland is because the character development of these characters from one to two doesn't change. Mm-hmm. They are exactly the same fucking idiots yeah. in both movies. It's because this is, it's almost meta because they're very self-aware of like, okay, I live in a zombie world. How do I survive a zombie world? It's not like them trying to figure it out because the whole point is, I, you know, Eisenberg has a list of rules on how to survive. So it's like, no shit, Sherlock. Well, it's can, what we would do if we, this was a thing. Can we talk about that in Zombieland 2, how there was a new form of zombie that had nothing to do with the plot whatsoever? Yeah, that that, that, that was the only part that kind of pissed I'm like, what the fuck? Like, it no. was like, uh, there was four different kinds. Like they introduced in the beginning, it's yeah, like yeah, howlers yeah. and runners and blah blah blah. blah but blah. like the 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 fifth one that they found, like in the middle of the movie, where it was like, oh, we're shooting him, shooting him, but and he's not going down. Yeah, had nothing. Like they didn't get trapped by a group of them. They didn't get attacked by one of them. No, it was just there. It was because just we needed there. the bad guy. Yeah, we needed like, super bad. It was not. There was nothing have to do. Even later, it didn't pay off later in the movie. Nope. Because they all fell off a fucking building. That was funny as fuck to me. Just watching them skydive was hysterical. And and I, I want to talk and because I hate what I don't know. You just said you wanted to talk and like no one was. No, stopping I, I wanted. I, I I want to talk about. I meant. I want to talk about. The, <laughs> like, that, excuse the, me. Did you just like correct Anthony? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Tough crowd. I, I want to talk about the group of fucking assholes that burned the guns in that movie. See, they're all. I guarantee you, they're all from Seattle. Oh, the people or from California. um, what the hell was it called? Their home, um, Babylon. 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 Yeah, she, calling it Babylon or something yeah. like that. She's like Babylon. She's a moron. I, I love loved Zoe her. Dutch. I wanted to lock her in a Zoe freezer. Dutch is so good. Oh uh, my god! Zoe. But I liked. I liked. <sighs> I mean. Boy. I don't know. Whatever. Zoe Dutch is so fuckable. <laughs> Did you know that they made a Zombieland TV show for Amazon and they completely fucked it up? And yeah. everyone was like, we're not touching this. Yeah. It went like one episode or two episodes and went, yeah, we're good. No thanks. I, I, can't I mean, it's not something you have to put into a, it's not something you have to put into a TV show. It doesn't need a prolonged plot. Right. An hour and a half is perfect. It's not even that. It's like, I don't, I don't want to watch something to do with Zombieland if it doesn't have Jesse Eisenberg or, or uh, Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson in it. Right, right. They're just fantastic together. Like, Let's go kick do, some dicks. I could probably do without uh, um, Abigail Breslin. The world can do without <laughs> Abigail Breslin. No offense, Abigail Breslin. <laughs> Fuck her entire filmography. And her family. Like, oh no, I don't like you. No, okay, so, <laughs> so, like, we could replace Abigail Breslin with Zoe Dutch, and I'll be fine. It's like, every time I see Ab- Abigail Breslin, I'm like, oh, when's the baby due? She's like, I'm not pregnant. I'm like, are you sure? She genuinely looks like someone who was born to be fat. Like, her born face is very circular. Fat. And her eyes and her, like... Her mouth is like this, and it's like, bitch. I've never seen such a round, slim person. She's like built like an oval. <laughs> Literally, she's, she's like just built like a Twinkie. She's just not attractive. And no, like, but I, I her want a whole movie of just Emma Stone and Ab- uh, and Zoe Dutch going back and forth to each other in those characters. Because they were literally, like, Emma Stone's reaction is, I, that's Teresa. That's how Teresa reacts to any dumb bitch she comes across. <laughs> like, look at I her face right now. <laughs> Oh, it's it's resting bitch face right now. And I I loved it because it's literally it will probably be, watch, it's it's Teresa and I with any girl I ever went out with. That's literally that is the perfect analogy. Fuck all you hoes. It was all a dream. <laughs> because it's the, the same type of, of of energy. 
Yeah. It's literally the same shit. Because bitches think they slick and they're not. Anyway. Oh my. <laughs> All right, now let's move on. All right, so we did Zombieland, fantastic series. If let's you know who I'm talking about, movies. you don't. I, it's a series. We're going to move on to one of my favorite zombie films of all time. Joey absolutely hates this movie. Teresa, never seen it. I have to introduce you. I want to go 10, 15 minutes probably on just the movie Zombievers. Now, Zombievers. Can we not talk about Zombievers, please? <laughs> it's so good. Are they zombie beavers? It qualifies as a zombie movie. Okay. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Okay. It is about this family who goes camping, Teresa, in this cabin, and they're getting attacked by the undead, but the undead are all zombies. I mean, no. the, they're all zombies. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, the undead are all... <laughs> beavers? <laughs> they're all beavers. What's scary about a beaver? It's an undead. Be so it's like bloody. It's got roadkill. It's white eyes, and they're attacking. So basically, the, it, it's beaver. You know how beavers look? They look like Amanda. All right. So they have the Please, buck stop, teeth. Don't be mean. Don't be mean to the beavers. Don't be mean to Amanda. I love my sister. You know that. Either way, it's a movie about zombified beavers that attack this film. No, camping. can we it's talk about something serious? Best okay. Films. So. If I had to choose between three movies, three zombie movies, yes, and I had the choice between World War Z, Twenty Eight Days Later, or the remake of uh, Dawn of the Dead, Dawn of the Dead, I would watch Dawn of the Dead tenfold all the time. That's really hard because each movie is offering you something different, like. World War Z was written by Max Brooks, who's the son of Mel Brooks. So you go from comedy legend, and his son writes about zombies. And it was written... That was a good movie. It was. And it was written... The book was written like... I as have a not played the game, though. No, neither have I. But the book was written like it was a first-hand account, like journal style, right? So the film took kind of liberties with that, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. But it, it came from it from a very kind of like well, real... Well, they made it up with Brad Pitt. Yeah, but they came from a kind of like a real world perspective like what would probably happen if this were true like they got the who involved and 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 like you know like the band yes yes the who was yes they were they were singing the concert for the and distracting all the zombies so everyone else can you know everyone can make a break you know, i didn't know they were actors i love bob o'reilly I hate both of you right now. <laughs> but no, like, it, it came from, like, a kind of, like, okay, a I documented, okay, uh, first, documentary series. First of all, series. I don't like the 28 Days Later series. I love 28 Days Later. And then you have 28 Weeks Later. And then it's 28 Months Later. And it's 28 Years Later. Yeah, they kind of went a little overboard with the weeks, months, days bullshit. And then but, 28 Decades Later. But 28 Days Later, uh, 28 Days Later is a fantastic film because it's just, it's angry fucking zombies. Like if, if the and world. British people, right? If the world well, takes, it takes place Ew. in the UK. If the what? world. Ew. If the world was filled with, with, with angry Ramones. Oh, God, no. Wait, what's the difference? Good point. If the world was filled with Ramones who were just who couldn't contain their rage, again, what's the difference? <laughs> if the world was filled with Ramones on meth, oh dear God! <laughs> By the way, for those of you playing the home game out there in pod podcast pod class land, podcast land, uh, one of my one of our dearest friends, a brother of ours, his name is Ramon, and he is built like a walking refrigerator tank. That's so mean. It's not mean. I run this by him several times, and he agrees with me. He is a gigantic man who is very strong and fierce, and he could probably punch a building and make the building apologize. Days later, like, half to half an hour. Twenty eight days later is a fantastic zombie movie. It's a bunch. It's a bunch of Ramones, British Ramones on meth, who destroy the world. It is fantastic never seen it it's scary because it's not just like like walking dead where they're slow and then they pick up a little speed when they see something you're talking about <laughs> right out the gate like if a zombie sees you they are running after you screaming and grabbing their nuts so in the lingo of like um, zombie land, they'd be a T eight hundred. Oh, they would be a T one thousand. Oh, it's like you know what it is. If Ramon punched himself in the balls and snorted a line of heroin, <laughs> and then decided to go and punch a building, an army of those. <laughs> That's scary. It's terrifying. 28 Days Later is a fantastic zombie movie, but it kind of breaks the zombie rules 
because it's, it's like level thirty three zombies. No, 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 no. Yes, but it, it's like um, they're not zombies. Where it's the dead coming back to life. It was a virus that affected a group of scientists. They broke out of the, the lab, and once you get bit, you become enraged. So no one's officially well, I'd be dead. Fucking mad oh, so too. it's not technically a zombie. They're not I, technically on, no, zombies. But I'd be play pissed off the, too if someone bit me. <laughs> they play by the zombie rule with the idea of I'm going to bite and attack and eat things. So it's not a zombie. They're not. It's just like COVID. They're not reanimated corpses. It's not like COVID. It's like COVID. No, no it's not. Like you can catch it. It's like bath salts. Okay, that's fair. You can't. Well, first of all, if you no, no, I remember that shit. That I couldn't sleep. <laughs> he ate his own face. <laughs> that shit was terrifying. Oh Lord, you me like what the fuck did he do? <laughs> oh my God! Side note, not to get off tra- uh, off topic, but remember when there was a deer at the beach? Yeah. Someone posted about it on TikTok and like posted this was like this is from like a year ago. I didn't know this made the news, but there was a fucking deer at the beach. And I'm like, oh my god, Anthony should have posted it first. I did post it first. On TikTok. Oh not on TikTok, but whatever. <laughs> There's a deer at the beach. <laughs> so anyway, uh yeah, twenty eight days later it plays Oh, by, we're gonna make our own zombie movie. It plays this by is gonna be hold rules. on. This is gonna be the Green Hour, uh, Green Hour Media presents Zom Turkeys. I will discuss my I like turkey it. story closer to Thanksgiving. Yes, that would when be I get to watch them die. <laughs> Zom Turkeys, starring Anthony Kiola. So, Twenty Eight Days Later is a great zombie film that's not actually a zombie film. Plays by the zombie rules. Well, so that's them. why I would choose Dawn of the Dead over those other two. But I don't like that remake. movie. You're talking Zack Snyder? Yeah. I liked it. But Justice League Zack Snyder, people. Justice League Zack <sighs> Snyder. I like it. I will say I like uh, Dawn of the Dead, but the original one, the original one's great, too. It's it's so good. It is, but the original one doesn't have a, a what's it, Vince? Not Vince. What's it, the the big the big the, the big Ving Rhames. Ving Rhames. So? Ving Rhames is amazing. What are you talking about? A little funny story about Dawn of the Dead. Uh, this happened to my this have not happened to my uncle, but my uncle was a part of this. You're gonna say this on air? Really? Um, no, no, no. I'll I'll, I'll uh, just I'll do it tastefully. I'm very confused. So in the ni- late seventies, early eighties, when Dawn of the Dead came out, Dawn of the Dead came out in 1978. So my uncle was about 16 years old, right? 15. 15, 16, whatever. He goes to see the movie with him and my other uncle and my father, and they're watching it, and they're in a theater in Patterson, New Jersey. And for those of you who've never been to Patterson, good for you. Uh, Literally, Isaiah is your only listener, and he hasn't been here. So yes, well, I talk to people who may first not of all, Isaiah is not our only listener. We have 150 downloads on this podcast. Enough, Fuck enough, you. enough. So, uh, for those of you who've never seen, never seen Dawn of the Dead, towards the end, um, the main character, who his name is uh, Keith Kevin Ken, it's Ken something. It, the main character, African American male, and he is uh, he sacrifices himself to distract the zombies while everyone else um, gets away. And then, like, at the very last moment, he changes his mind, and he starts plowing through the zombies and knocking, like, punching him in the face and shooting him in the head to get to the helicopter. And my uncle was drunk as hell watching this, and as he starts berating and beating his way to the helicopter in the theater in Patterson, my uncle stands up and goes, Super N-Word! At the top of his lungs. And my father and my uncle had to punch him back into his seat and drag him out of there. Now, you should never say the N-Word ever under any circumstances. But for a drunk man to scream that out loud with that context... It's one of the dumbest things I think I've ever heard in my life. Would you agree? I would, yeah. I mean, especially in the place that, you know, in, in Patterson. Cricket noise. Yeah. You, you can't get away with saying anything remotely that like that today. And I'm oh, sure no, he yeah. didn't get away with saying it then either. We can't tell who the uncle is because that certain individual has great ratings. 
That's you right. might be canceled. That's right. Both of the uncles. This is going to be a Twitter thing. Where they're gonna, Which Saul's uncle gonna, did it? Yeah. It's all going to like try and figure this out. Like, And then like have his show like, you know, pirated and like, <laughs> we're going to pick people outside of our gate. <laughs> Take him off the air. Take. He said the N word once 40 years ago. Take him off the air. <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, yeah, we're going to be black bold now. But, yeah, that's what he did. Thanks, uh, Ian. You're welcome. Well, b- b- it's a fantastic film, no matter what. Ken, uh, Ken O'Brien, I think. Or, no. He also played the father in Keenan and Kel. He played Keenan's dad. I don't care. And he made a cameo in uh, this one, too, in the remake. And I still don't care. I love the idea, though, of a zombie movie that takes place in a mall. It's, like, brilliant. It's, like, if you're going to go somewhere, Walmart... <laughs> Malls. Where else are you gonna go? Would it be like a this? military base? No, they tried that in Day of the Dead, and that didn't work out so well. Ah, oh, fuck. <gasps> BJ's. Yeah, I could use one. Costco. Oh, you're talking about the store? Yes, the superstore. You're an asshole. Restaurant Depot. No, they don't have beds there. So sleep in this. You know, all you gotta do is make a bed of like some, Macy's. Just take all the marshmallows. Wait, and just I sleep don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> I heard bed and sleep, and I thought Macy's. No, where would you go in a zombie apocalypse? Macy's. <laughs> Besides um, sleeping, because I know um, your I don't know. I can reaction, sleep literally anywhere. Teresa's reaction to anything is, is sleep. to close her eyes and sleep. I don't know, like, because if you're sleeping, you don't know what's happening, so it's fine. Right, you're also going to die. I mean, eh, it happens. Whatever. But I think like my perfect place, I would say Costco. Because I would scour. Obviously, I'd have a team. Like, I'd have people with me. So, I wouldn't be alone. So, I would have people scour, make sure every square inch of the Costco is completely, like, zombie-free. Right? And then, I would probably, obviously, lock all the doors. I'm sure Costco got wood somewhere. Board up the doors. I have wood. There's mad food in Costco. Mad food? There's mad food in Costco. Not only, like cold food like refrigerated food but food that doesn't go bad for like ages so it's perfect like you know and if you run out then you just move to another costco so like sorry what about the people who are at that other costco kick them out the fuck all for one in a zombie apocalypse i'm hiding out in joey's bedroom because no one goes there anyway like either that or bj's but i mean costco has turkey has chicken roll-ups so probably costco so That's yeah. That's your main reasoning cuz Costco. But I mean has like chicken roll up. Honestly though, come on, think about it. It's perfect. Like go to Costco and plus they have they always have like inflatable like okay, things for pools. Word. They always have inflatable yeah, cuz if we say inflatable goat you're going to get a hard on. Right? Calm down. <laughs> They always have inflatable pools and stuff. They have sheets. They have pillows, bedding. They got everything. So, like, go to Costco. It's perfect. And on top of that, I'm sure they have, like, mad back stock, right? I'm just going to let everyone know, even in Spotify, so we don't get shut down. We are not... We are not going to be. I'm not going to be. I, nope. Or Macy's. Or Macy's or any of these places we're talking about. I would go to Burlington we Coat are. Factory. Well, <laughs> why? There's nothing there. It's just clothes, you asshole. Well, the tagline is they're more than just coats. So I want to know where the more is. Maybe it's like. It's shirts and pants and you know, underwear and jewelry. You're the first person to die in a zombie apocalypse. So you're telling me that the Beyond of Bed Bath and Beyond isn't like food? Or it could be like in Click. I hate that fucking movie. Why don't you? This isn't about Click, so I'm not going to ask. We're going to have a whole argument about Adam Sandler in a future. We should just podcast. have an Adam Sandler episode. Oh, we are. But I want to be on it. Be but can I finish? I'm, I'm, I'm can I finish? Hello. Thank you. Stop screaming. I think Costco is great. I think Costco is a great idea. I wouldn't mind living in a Costco. And then, and like, then it's not getting paid. It's big enough for everyone to have their own little section. Actually, I think we should raid, like, if the zombie apocalypse happens, we raid, like, the nearest Amazon plant. Because they, they do food. And they got robots. And then we could do zombies no versus robots. robots. No robots. No robots. Isaiah's scared of robots. Isaiah's not on the podcast. <laughs> Isaiah's not... Excuse you. He's not here right now. Isaiah's not on the podcast, I'm but sorry, he's scared of robots. Enough. Like, you know what? Stop and Shop, they have Marty. 
What the fuck's what a Marty? The fuck is the, Marty? They have a robot that roams the aisles, is and it's Jewish robot no. He's like, put that back. You can't afford it. <laughs> no, I'm it's so this, sorry to the Jewish it's this thingy. It's, it's this no robot, problems. and they put big ass googly eyes on it. <laughs> They put big ass googly eyes on it, and it monitors the the floor. It has a camera on it, makes sure there's no spills. And that I say, like a I say, is scared of it. Lawyer, don't slip on the spill in aisle four. I say, is scared of it. He walks the other way. Wait, so wait, like, what is it? What is it? It's called Marty. It's in Stop and Shop. We should go one Stop day and just and look shop. for I it. I want you to ta- I want you to tell him to tackle Isaiah. If you're listening. Teresa, you have to film this. Isaiah, next time you see Marty the Jewish supermarket robot, <laughs> I want you to tackle him as hard as you can. Linebacker style, baby. Like, do the team. fucking do it, too. Do the team pose, would. yell hike, and just fucking take him out. He's, like, tall, and, and he roams. And, like, if he sees something, he, like, backs up and goes down the aisle because his, his feet oh. are omnidirectional. Yes, I saw that. Yeah, I almost shit myself. It's, when it's I saw for that. reals. Like it's a thing. It's a it's actual like thing. That so that was in the one in yeah. Wayne. Yeah, no, in the Preakness Shopping and Center. In the Preakness Shopping Center. I fucking saw that and I almost shit myself. And it's weird I'm, because I, it's it's not self aware, but I guess you could say it is. When it gets to a certain like charge, it takes itself off the charger and just starts roaming the aisles. If I'm Fuck ever that. if I'm ever in a supermarket and I'm like picking out fruit <laughs> and Marty the supermarket Jewish robot comes up to me that's not kosher I'm going to put my fucking foot through that robot's face <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that thing. I don't want a goddamn robot in my supermarket. I'm so glad I don't work for them anymore. That's what it looks like. Oh my god, that thing is terrifying. It's wearing they, a COVID mask. They put on a COVID mask. <laughs> I want to kill that thing. Kind of looks like Gumby. It's like Gumby without the arms. I want to tackle it. But as he's hard terrifying. As he really is. And Isaiah's always scared that, like, if we're, we're shopping, because there's a stop and shop right by his house, if we're, like, shopping or whatever, it's going to, like, pick him up because he's, like, Hispanic and, like, follow him. <laughs> That's literally his fear. Yeah, the credit card's gonna decline. So you're telling me it's a racist that Jewish, it's a racist Jewish supermarket robot? robot. Stop. You're checking. Yeah, you're checking. I was like, don't forget the matzo. Pass over to the matzo. <laughs> yeah. I think that's where we'll end this tonight. I, for full disclosure, I have nothing against the Jewish people. I don't think the Jewish people have anything against Hispanics either. So I'm throwing that one so. out there. Or, I, I have nothing against the robotic um, community. The robotic community either. Um, um, or in, in this particular case, the, the Jewish robotic community. Specifically, the Jewish robotic community. Um, I, I, you know, I hear they're wonderful people who are doing amazing things uh, for us, and uh, you know, my my significant my, my people go. My significant other is Jewish, so I have nothing against the Jews. That's fucked. <laughs> Although Jewish Moses, oh no, would not have been able to lead his people through the flood. Moses wasn't Jewish. Moses was Jewish. He was a Ju- yeah, he was Jewish. So why would you say but Jewish no, Moses? Well, I'm sorry. Or sorry, I meant like robot Jewish Mo- robot Moses would not have been able to lay his people through the Red Sea because read the Red Sea. Read. It's the Red Sea. It's spelled R E A D. It's no, no it's, it's spelled R E D. I've seen it spelled R E A D. Those people don't know how to read a Bible because it's the Red Sea. Anyway, like the people in the Bible. The second spell. that sea would have split. He would have malfunctioned, you know, water raining down. It doesn't mix well with electronics. The robotic Jews of ancient Egypt would have just shut down, and yeah. it would have been bad. The robotic Jews. So we're definitely okay. ending well, this podcast right here because I don't then, want... I, 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 I need the Yimka to be... The Yimka? <laughs> that's the YMCA. <laughs> that sounds the, very that's Jewish. The Men's Christian Academy. There's nothing to do with Jews. Right. That's also one thing. And but the robo-Jesus, hundreds of years later... Robo Jesus. Now, Robo now, Jesus. yes. Father, forgive I mean, me. Fuck it. I mean, we talked about. We talked stop. about. Stop. <laughs> no, no, stop it. Because we talked about priests and fucking priests in the, in the Is This Real podcast. Just so. remember, you can stab them. You just can't. F- I mean, you can fuck them. You can't stab them. But no, it's like. You can't stab a priest? No, you can't. It's a, it's, it's a big sin. Well, f- right well down, murdering is a sin, so. But like no, but so that's like, like robo- a double whammy then. So if you kill a priest, oh yeah, it's a sin for murder. It's a sin for killing a priest. So it's like a double charge. Okay, sure. 
No, but like, even at that point, if you listen to our, lo- our our last episode of Is This Real, and I think you guys should go listen to it. Yeah, um, Secrets of the Vatican. Secrets of the Vatican. I'll right? pass. Thank you. But there's a section. It's called a megasin, and that doesn't qualify as a megasin. Yeah. What's a megasin? I think I've heard this before. Okay, a megasin. Basically, okay, one megasin is if you spit out the Eucharist. Yeah, you go right to hell. Like, if you don't like the taste of the Eucharist, you have to spit it out? No, 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 no. no, no. no. If you do spit out the Eucharist. Like, okay, think of it this way. Megasins are only... You can get them shits on Amazon. <laughs> Like unblessed, like I'd love yeah, to just like part of prime. You didn't know that. I would love to Hold just on. like snack on those shits with a little bit of gouda. Okay, so basically, and some strawberry jam. Now who loves the cheese? <laughs> so basically, a mega sin is can can only be absolved by the pope. By the pope himself. Like if a California, like if if you're from like Washington State and you're Catholic. And you go up to the priest and you go, is it gluten free? And he goes, no, it's not. And you put it in your mouth like, oh, God. And you spit it out like that's a mega sin. And that can only be absolved by the Pope himself. No other priest can now. You got to put in a formal request. So how do they fit? This is what I don't understand. Don't don't try and figure it out. This is what I don't understand. Listen, I don't care. Whatever. Listen. Jesus was a zombie, so it kind of fits. Anthony. Jesus Christ. That's not a fucking megasin talking about how Jesus was a zombie, but spitting out a piece of bread is? Well, that's his body. body. Yeah, and that's, that, we're cannibals. So I have a question, though. No, if I'm not done. This is, wine, this is, a, no, this is what I understand. So reaction. how would someone, like, say you just held it in your mouth until Mass was over, because after you receive the Eucharist in Catholic churches, after you receive the Eucharist, there's only, like, ten minutes left of Mass, right? So yeah, what if you, like... Time and then we wrap it up. What if you, like... <coughs> Cough it into your hand. That's a mega sin. They don't see it. So yeah, who? So no, how? Because the priest doesn't. So doesn't, right. Jesus doesn't. Right. But how? 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 Do, how is the? How is the Pope gonna absolve something he has no proof of? He's just gonna believe you. Yes. Well, if you're that makes if no you're sense. A good Catholic, you would tell me. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm allergic to the Eucharist. See, Jesus died, rose from the dead. He's a zombie. It fits this episode. Now, when we talk about vampires and cannibals, we can also talk about Jesus because we eat his be- bread and drink. We eat his body and we drink his blood. We're talking about cannibals? No, we're not. Not yet. Cannibals. <laughs> and like, it, now imagine if like all the church. Them either. <laughs> imagine if all the church was just room like we had robot Jesus and now you have robot priests. And it's like, please, robot priest, forgive me. It's like four oh four. Not found, not forgiven. All right, so that's going to be the end of this episode. Uh, <laughs> thank you for t- uh, joining us, Teresa. Do you want to be uh, like officially a part of this podcast now? This was fun. If I don't have to put money into it. See, that's exactly where I'm coming from. And that's you exactly just don't what- give a shit. I'm not giving you a high five. I care. I do care. You're high not going to. Uh uh. No. You're not going to reap the benefits and not contribute. Oh, I'm, I'm not reap, trying no, to reap any type of benefit. Because, I just on, like I'm talking and hearing so myself. Dad, he, he's going to reap the benefits because dad told me to put his name on the, the business. Yes. So where the fuck am I? Well, you're not on the business. You Why? Work, you work Shut up! For us. Why? You, you work for us. I don't work for you. Then get the fuck out of my business. Okay, booth. if I work for you, then I want to get paid. Nobody's getting paid right yeah, now. No one's getting that paid. sounds personal. When we make money, you the fuck? make money. Until then, it's on the good. Uh, Strictly so. twenty-two dollars an hour. <laughs> All right. Give me twenty-two dollars. Pay twenty-two dollars an hour, and I own the fucking business. Yeah, you're kind of getting. <laughs> right, so we're gonna end this podcast you here. My paycheck. Next week, we're gonna talk you're about. You're a fake teacher. Next week, <laughs> on week two of October spoopy time. It's spoopy September twenty-first. We're go- what? Huh? Shut up. Let's wait. Let's wait. Let's let no, it be a no, surprise. No. no, no, fuck that. I like Mummies. It. No, we're going to be talking about Spiders. Freddy. Oh. And Nightmare on Elm Street. See, what do you here's, mean? My, mm. here's my question. Not my fave. Here's my question. Here's my question. Fuck you. Here's my question. I like Joey, Ghostface. Joey, Joey, Joey. Do we want to. talking about him. Do we want to do it by icon or do we want to talk about like horror movie genre like today we talked about zombie movies and zombie stuff do you want to do like ghost movies and haunted houses next week and then the following week we talk about slashers and the following week we talk right, about fine we'll talk about slashers let's do week. slashes next that way we can wrap up all and we can talk about ghost face um we can only talk about scream one two and three we only talk about the trilogy we do no, not talk about that four, trash and then five coming out fourth we'll one we'll talk about that next week Yes. Thank I don't you guys for joining us like on you. Green Hour Podcast. Teresa, are you going to be with us next week? Uh, yeah. 
All right. And so I'll be here. Unfortunately. Unfucking fortunately. Go check out. Make sure you check out the rest of our podcast. We have Angry Uncle. We have Keeping It Real with Bubba. We have Is It Real? Uh, and we have a lot of good stuff on the uh, Green Arrow um, media stuff. Check out our YouTube page. At Green Arrow Media. At Green Arrow Media. We don't have a Twitter or a Patreon or anything like that yet. But eventually we First will. First of all. Somebody else has to run everything, all right? I can't run all of it. Well, we have a lot to discuss, you and I, about different ways. Can we're people call into once this thing? The, yes. Yeah. Once my name's on the contract officially, then we're going to start. We're going to change things how, we're, how, we, how they run around here. Interesting. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Interesting. That's um, what I'm going to say. So, yeah. So, thank you guys for te- uh, uh, for, for listening on this uh, episode. Indeed. Um, Teresa, we're not sponsored by Indeed either. <laughs> Fuck you. You're not going to be able to say anything without saying we're not sponsored by that. Uh, so, uh, like, next week, we're going to be talking about slashers. Uh, go follow our Facebook page at Green Hour Media and our YouTube, like Anthony said. And we'll see you guys next week. Thanks for joining us. Adios. Good night.